Blessed day everyone, it's JP, just humble, but the good, the bad, and the ugly of the Trini Virgo woman. I will make sure to be thorough in my explanation for this one, as Virgo is an extremely sharp and detail-oriented energy. Upon first meeting the Trini Virgo woman, you might think she's shy, soft-spoken, and modest, but don't be fooled by this prudent countenance. Easy snake this bite hard. In fact, the more quiet she is, it's probably the more she's observing. And what she's observing is faults, errors. She's extremely judgmental because she's judgmental of herself. She could look well organized and even perfect from the outside. But trust me, it's had a lot of analyzing and painstaking behind this supposed composed presence. Let me look at the nature of Virgo season itself to understand why she's like this. Zoom out. March 21st to September the 22nd, days are longer than nights in Trinidad and the rest of the Northern Hemisphere, as the sun is rising north of the equator for these six months. This represents two seasons, spring and summer. Zoom in. Within spring and summer, we have six signs. Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, and Virgo. Virgo is the last 30 days every year where days are longer than nights. The six months after Virgo season, nights are longer than the days. So six months are light, six months are darkness. And Virgo is the last season of light. So Virgo represents the end of the light. This is the time to harvest the abundance of food that grew in the months before. You can sense the season changing from summer to fall where the leaves gonna die. So it's time to gather all the physical substance. If it didn't grow and improve by Virgo season, it ain't gonna grow and improve plenty more. It ain't gonna have plenty more progress. So it's time to just rack it up. That's how the Trini Virgo woman is. She wants to improve things. She wants to see progress. If you don't improve being with a Trini Virgo woman, then I don't know what to tell you. You didn't have much going on in the first place. But not everybody could stand the technique in which the Trini Virgo woman chooses to improve things and others. Constantly nitpicking. Let me go back to the harvest analogy I was making before. Virgo is symbolized by the virgin in all white going out to the fields to bring in the harvest. That's why you see her with the sheaf of grain. Imagine you have a whole field of grain, vegetables or fruits ready to harvest. And you do a good job sowing it. Come time to reap. Let me say it are hundreds or thousands of food that you had to collect. The intelligent thing to do is bring in everything. Spot only the ones that have faults. And put them to the side to burn. And everything else is perfect. Simple. This is how she organizes things. Identify what is no longer needed. What the faults are so that things could change. She values structure. People who are disciplined and organizers and bosses. She feels comfortable with routines. The Trini Virgo woman is the sister amongst the siblings who is the great communicator, especially listening. Very helpful. She can pick up on what you need before you say it. She's so observant. <laughs> observant. <laughs> she will criticize you, which could be annoying, but she's also the one willing to help you improve the same thing she criticizing you about. As a mother, the Trini Virgo woman may already have a schedule mapped out for the children before they're even born. These are your DIY or do-it-yourself mothers. If the child has a flu, she already knows what herbs to draw to nurse her child back to health. She will suggest that you cut sugar or gluten or sodium out of your diet as she's into health. She cannot dry like that, like, you know. But we need this energy. This is what keeps us healthy. At a party, the Trini Virgo woman is the responsible one. She may find it hard to let her guard down. She could be constantly worrying about everything, like her kids, how much calories her drink have, or how staying out late will affect her health or her sleeping patterns. So I imagine if you're partying with a Trini Virgo woman, she's the designated driver. Or the woman in the party with a fanny pack filled with like a first aid kit, hand sanitizer, acid reflux medicine, and a portable charger just in case her phone dropped below 80%. Yeah, the, the kind of painstaking like that. This is definitely not your wild party animal. She's more of a boring chaperone. If you spill your drink though, she's the first one to go and clean it up. 
When it comes to work and service, this is where she shines. She's a natural problem solver. In a chaotic environment, she could still tell you exactly where the red ballpoint pens are. The most efficient worker. When work is slow, she will find work to do, whether it's color coding the library or cleaning or dusting the fan. When they tell the burger woman, thank you for doing that, she will say, oh, it's, it's nothing, it's nothing, because she's, she's modest. Burgo is a mutable sign. Mutable means it comes at the end of a season. So she's changeable. She's adaptable. If a new problem arises that she never deal with, she's intelligent and flexible enough to find out step by step how to solve it. It's just a few like web searches and a do-it-yourself YouTube video away and problem solved. She's the worker that makes herself irreplaceable by the boss because she manages everything for the boss. One day without her and everything will go haywire. In relationships, the Trini Burger woman is the inductive reasoner. She will observe your patterns and make sharp predictive decisions about what you need, what you, what you want to eat for dinner, what book you would appreciate, uh, what picture you would like frame. She, she noticed these details about you. You, you don't want to tell her. She, she wants to just pick up on it and just do it, you know? She's submissive. She's the ultimate cater to you kind of woman. However, the dark side to this is she's finicky and she's concerned with insignificant details. It really depends on what you have going on in life though. If it's just you and she in a room, she might have no choice but to sit down and criticize you. But if you're making moves, she will be your ultimate servant. She's the head nurse if you're the doctor. She's the paralegal if you're the lawyer. She's the kitchen hands if you're the chef. She will clean up after you, iron your clothes, fold your clothes. Even bust the little butt buttons on your um, skin and thing like that, you know? This is the kind of woman will also cut off communication with like friends and stuff and just if, if she not if she had deep feelings for you, she will focus on you. This is the woman who actually wants to be feminine and meek. In the bedroom, she's a prude, boring and stiff. Unless of course she practice. Bogosi sign that like to do things perfect. So if she read a book take a class or watch videos on how to perform, she could improve and become the best. But without any experience or coaching, she's routine, a little dry, you know? Make sure your beard smell good and you're like, do all the chores before sex because it will relax her mind. Simple things like dirt on your nails or a pile of clothes that need to get full up and stuff like that, it will inhibit her from getting lost any moment. Now, let me say, you take a Trini Vogel woman to watch a movie. She will research all the actors and actresses in the movie on the way there. She already di like dissect the whole movie and the synopsis of the movie. She wants to know what she's going into. She's not the type to buy cat and bag. So a spontaneous date is not really her thing. Unless, of course, like her moon sign or her mass sign suggests different. And these are astrological terminologies if you don't understand that part. As far as career, think health. A lot of Virgos are nurses and dietitians, also accountants or any kind of micromanaging. A career where she is like serving some higher up person is good for her. She's not the boss type. So if you are a boss and you have a Trini Vogel woman, she could organize all your physical material for you. She could fix up your health, like give you a routine, thing like that, you know? Within a social group, she's like the health and safety officer, a real goody-goody. <laughs> so friends will not really cause you out to certain events because although she's helpful, she's secretly judgmental. So too much Virgo energy and everything on earth will just be bleached. Everyone will wear glasses and dress in all white to easily spot blemishes. We would have like vending machines dispensing IBS medicine. All the restaurants would be strictly alkaline electric vegan food. And humanity would be extinct in like a hundred years because these virgins wouldn't... The kind of prudish, the, the, the too critical and nitpicky to procreate with the opposite sex if we just had all Virgos on the earth. But... With all Virgo energy, the world would be filthy. Everyone would have health problems. Murderers would just get away with like a slap on the wrist and all industrial businesses would close down. I love the Trini Virgo woman. JP, signing off.